In software engineering, SOLID is an acronym for five design principles intended to make object-oriented design more understandable, flexible, and maintainable. The SOLID ideas are single responsibility, open close, least cough substitution, interface segregation, and dependency inversion. In this tutorial, I will introduce open close principle. Open close principle defines that a software entities like classes, module, and etc. should be open for extension but closed for modification. That is, such an entity can allow its behavior to be extended without modifying its source code. So here is a code example. Here we have a rectangle class with a get area method, a circle class with a get area method, and an area calculator class with get total area function. So in get total area function, you can see that this function takes a list of dynamic type as the input parameter called shapes. And below we have to add an if check to determine the class type that passed into this function. Well, the worst case is that whenever we wanted to add a new shape type or a new shape class, we have to modify the getTotal function by adding additional checks for new shape types in the getTotal area function. This certainly violates open close principle, which stated that software entities, which in this example is the getTotal area function, should not be open for modification. So now I will show you how to modify this code example to comply to open close principle. Firstly, we have to create an abstract class with a get area method. Then both rectangle and circle class will extend this abstract class. Instead of having the get area method in each of their class, they will now overwrite the abstract class get area method. So now in the get total area function, we don't have to pass in a list of dynamic type. We can now replace the dynamic type to the abstract class type, which is shape. This is because both rectangle and circle class extended the shape class. And right now, we no longer needed to check if it's a rectangle class object or circle class object, which we can remove the if check statement. We can now directly loop through the list of shapes and execute the get area method. After these changes, the code example now comply to open close principle. Whenever we wanted to add a new shape type, for example, I create a square class now, I just have to make sure the square class extends the shape abstract class. Then it can be passed into get total area function for calculation. No matter how many classes we create, we don't have to change a single code in the getTotalArea function. This is the major benefits of complying to open close principle. As we mentioned earlier, solid principles makes your code more understandable, flexible, and maintainable. Here comes to the end of the tutorial. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.